Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Lazy Stone and welcome back to another video today. We're gonna be talking about Garrett Bobby Ferguson, none other than Giant Beardo Face, as recommended by Mordecai himself. So today we're gonna deep dive in into this character's existence and a very weird controversial theory that I have for myself. Now it's not controversial, but I'm gonna try making it by having you guys help me out with this one. So anyways, let's get to it. Garrett Bobby Ferguson, or GBF, is one of the most memorable antagonists in regular show. With his iconic pixelated beard and giant floating head, he left such a jarring mark on characters and fans alike. GBF first appeared in the episode High Score, where he challenges Mordecai and Rigby in a battle for arcade supremacy. His character was based on the real-life record holder Billy Mitchell, who was known for having a perfect score on the game Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. And let's not forget that this guy tried to sue JG Quintel for using his likeness on this episode. Which doesn't make sense because Garrett Bobby Ferguson is just a giant head with legs and, well, arms. and. Billy Mitchell is just a normal human being who beat a record on Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, and he's a human, and he's real. So, and let's not forget that this is all fucking fictional. So is he saying that this is all canon? That he's a giant, beardo face man that came from outer space? And let's not forget that he was in Pixels in 2015, played by Peter Dinklage. I mean, I guess it's okay for Sony to use his likeness on their motion picture film, but God forbid that it's JG Quintel that creates his own version of him. And then after that, he will be sued for using his likeness. So anyways, let's get back into the video. Garrett Bobby Ferguson is known for his arrogance, determination, and explosive temper, literally. His rivalry with Mordecai and Rigby is fueled by his obsession with maintaining his high scores and reputation. And yes, I said that plural, high scores. He had more than one high score. For some reason, he wanted to keep all of them. He didn't want to just, I don't know, let somebody take his position as having a high score. That's crazy. So yeah, they duke it out, and obviously the two protagonists won against the antagonist, the baby man-child himself the fictional man-baby child himself, so yeah. And I call him a man-baby child because he tried to manipulate people by using their emotions to get the best out of them because he dedicated his own life to having a perfect score on video games so much that his own wife decided to leave him and lost all other earthly possessions, I don't know. Uh, again, he's from intergalactic space, so I, I really don't know how that even happened. But, however, Garrett Bobby Ferguson is more than just a character. He's a testament to the creativity and humor that regular show brings to its audience. Whether you love him or hate him, we can't deny the fact that this guy is pretty hilarious every time he comes back on screen. But, however, let's not forget about his little lie that he told on High Score. And that was the fact that he had a wife, but that turned out not to be the truth. This cruddy game, it's just a hobby. But what about your wife? <laughs> Never had one. And you're probably wondering why I have this confused emote on the screen right now. Well, that's because, well, actually, let me just introduce you to the character once again, where he appeared on Exit 9B special that aired years ago. Form, but maybe this will jog your memory. <laughs> that's right. I'm the son of universally renowned gaming champion Garrett Bobby Ferguson. Garrett Bobby Ferguson Jr. All right, you already did the math here. Yeah, how did he have a son if he never claimed to have a wife before? I just don't get it. Because in order to have an offspring, you're gonna have to have a female present for that job, first of all. And then afterwards, then you will have, you, you know, your own kid. No way. Get ready for a universe serving of revenge. Father. Son. <laughs> Good, son. 
So yeah, how the, how the fuck was this even possible? And also, why did he blame Mordecai and Rigby for the fact that his father ended up exploding after losing to the protagonist? So this just asks the question, how did Garrett Bobby Ferguson had a child, but at the same time claim to have never had a wife? I actually came up with two theories and that's really simple, actually. I just wanted to point this out because this was put out in the regular show universe, but not a lot of people talked about it. So I'm probably gonna talk about it on this one. Theory number one would be that he just hid the fact that he had a wife and probably had a son and met another gigantic head looking lady. I mean, regular show did this before. They've had multiple intergalactic characters that probably had wives and they probably did whatever they had to do in order to get a kid. And after that, you know, this is the uh, conclusion. There's already two notions that perplexes me a lot. And it's the fact that he claimed to not have a wife, but he ends up having a son that appeared in an episode later on in the regular show universe, but he did tell a lie that he had a wife and he does have a son. And we're just here in a perplexing loop of confusion here. Cover up his private life. I'm guessing this guy is pulling off a Drake with Adonis. So yeah, I'm guessing he just doesn't have a good wife and that's why he never mentioned her and also why his son, Garrett Bobby Ferguson Jr. never mentioned her as well as his mom. He's keeping his life private away from other people in order to just, you know, have his ego shown. But then again, he didn't even mention his son ever. So that is just weird. And that leads to my second theory, and that's the fact that he's an intergalactic being, so therefore him being an alien, obviously because of his uh, humanoid-like, alien-like features, what the hell is he exactly? I'm just gonna go ahead on a whim here and say that he is probably an alien or some type of immortal god since, you know, he did die twice and he did, you know, come back to life twice and i'm sure his son garrett bobby ferguson jr is alive as well so um the only problem here is the fact that he had claimed to have a wife but he does have a son so i'm guessing that he's probably an alien or a god that can reproduce himself you, you you probably know where i'm going here with this one um i'm saying that he's probably asexual what the fuck did you say you goddamn slut okay before it, okay listen 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 just hear me out hear me out before you guys cancel me listen listen i already know what month it is and i already share a birthday with this certain month okay I do not mean asexual as in that way. I meant asexual as in the textbook definition term, meaning that asexual reproduction as in the mode of reproduction in which a new offspring is produced by a single parent. So you can't cancel me. That term existed probably a while back, okay? A, a very long time, all right? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to do anything, all right? I'm just saying this could be the possibility. But then again, we don't know if Garrett Bobby Ferguson is that type. I, I don't know. Maybe if he is, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, again, it, it's not a big deal. I mean, he is narcissistic and he kind of doesn't have any feelings for anybody else but his son. So I'm guessing he just loves himself that much. OK, I'm, I'm not I'm not making any assumptions here. OK, it's just that the fact that he, you know, doesn't have a wife present and he has a son, it's, it's just really weird. It just fits the description, okay? Garrett Bobby Ferguson is a single parent, so that falls into the category of an asexual uh, species, I guess, if you wanna call it that. Maybe the godlike giant head people are capable of reproduct self-reproduction, okay? Being able to uh, do asexual reproduction. Okay, all right, I'm not touching base with this any, anymore. I mean, he's he's an alien, he's not human. I'm just gonna go with this theory, okay? All right, and there could be another possibility that 
while he's an intergalactic being and that he's not a human, he could be able to, you know, have some type of form of intelligence or hired a, I don't know, mercenary to basically clone himself. I guess maybe Garrett Barbie Ferguson Jr. is a clone. You know how uh, Professor Fonsworth was able to clone himself because he wasn't able to reproduce and have an heir or a son. Um, so he cloned himself and had a son for himself. That's basically what uh, I thought happened with Garrett Bobby Ferguson. He cloned himself and he was able to have a son. So yeah, that ends the video. Um, regular show is coming back. So we probably might see Garrett Bobby Ferguson again. And hopefully JG Quintel will not suffer any repercussions from it. And yeah, let's enjoy that factoid at least. We can enjoy that. We can all agree with that. So anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if I'm missing anything, if I'm missing any more information. I just went on by what I saw online and basically came to a conclusion of a theory or two. He doesn't mention how his son was, you know, created. So I just started making these theories. Anyways, uh, this is the Lazy Stone, and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope I see you guys in the next video. See ya.